your storm team weather, here's Chief Meteorologist Aaron Ayers, sponsored by Big Country Equipment. Well, we continue to see a mix of sun and clouds across our area. Temperatures are going to start to come down for us as we go into the weekend, seeing a little more cloud cover and maybe even the chance that we see a few isolated showers as well. Highs are going to be in those low 90s with our eyes on Tropical Storm Ida out in the Gulf of Mexico or soon to be in the Gulf of Mexico. Almanac today, we made it to a high of 95. We average around 95 this time of the year. The record is 109 back in 2019. This morning's low of 68. That's a few degrees below where we are normally this time of the year. Current temperatures across our region right now. We're getting into those 90s and some of us in those 70s. It's 99 in Sterling City, 93 over in Barnhart. Same here in San Angelo, 76 in Menard, 78 down in Junction and 86 over in Brady. They've seen a few showers and thunderstorms over there. That's helped bring the temperatures down. Tomorrow as you get on the bus stop or get to the bus stop tomorrow morning, 71 degrees, clear conditions for us on our Friday. And then as you come home tomorrow afternoon, and we're going to be right around in those low 90s with mostly sunny conditions across much of our area. Tomorrow is also Friday, and that means Football Friday is back. Here's a look at that Football Friday cast for tomorrow evening. We're going to see temperatures in the 80s as we go through 7 o'clock, mostly clear conditions. We'll get into the low 80s as we get to 9 o'clock tomorrow evening, just in time for that Football Friday. Clouds are rare right now. We've got a few showers moving through our area, mainly our south and eastern communities. We'll take a little bit closer look at those showers and thunderstorms that we've seen. Here's one into Schleicher County, northern Schleicher County, north of El Dorado. And then up towards Ballinger, getting in on some thunderstorms there. But much of us remaining dry. You can check the radar anytime at ConchaValleyHomepage.com. Our extended future cast looks like this. We'll see partly cloudy conditions and a few showers as we go through our Saturday. Highs are going to generally be in those low 90s. Then as we go into the beginning of next week, there goes Tropical Storm Ida. Likely a hurricane at this point as it makes landfall somewhere near Louisiana or Mississippi or maybe even Alabama. Still uncertain at this time where exactly that landfall is going to come. But then we'll start to see drier, sunnier conditions for us as a result of that because we wind up on the sinking air side of that system as we go into next week with highs getting back into those upper 90s. Tropical Storm Ida right now. It's about 100 miles southwest southwest of Jamaica. 40 mile an hour winds, 1,006 millibar pressure moving northwest at around 14 miles an hour. As we time this out, this is where it's projected to go and it's expected to be a category two hurricane before making landfall somewhere close to Louisiana, Mississippi, or even potentially Alabama. And so we'll watch this very closely as that's likely to increase to potentially a low end category three hurricane. So definitely something to keep your eyes on as we go through the weekend. Tonight, we'll drop down to around 70 around here, mostly clear conditions for our Friday. We'll top out near 94 under mostly sunny conditions. And then as we go through the next five days, this is what to expect as we roll into our weekend. A slight chance for a few stray showers on our Saturday. Temperatures generally in the low 90s for daytime highs. Then we'll start to see a little more sunshine. I'm working into next week. We have more KCN News at 6 right after this.